These are my GoPro 9 video files and Windows cannot generate the picture thumbnails that I want so I can identify each file. It's just numbered files and a generic icon. Mine looks like this because I associated VLC for MP4s, but in your system it might look different, just a generic icon and no picture thumbnail. And to fix this for at least the GoPro 9 and maybe more recent versions before the GoPro 9, we need to install HEVC extension. It's a codex, it allows your system to recognize the kind of video file it is, encode it and decode it. And to do that, let's go to the Microsoft homepage, go to any browser or search engine, type in Microsoft. And if you're in the US, this is the link. Click that and you'll go here and go to search. Type in HEVC. And this is it, HEVC video extensions. And unfortunately, there's a cost to it. It's only 99 cents though. Just click buy and follow the instructions. So most likely you'll need to sign in with your Microsoft account or create a new account right here with this link. Once you have an account, you can pay for it with a credit card or PayPal. I use PayPal and you go through the motions of registration with Microsoft and you might need to restart your computer so that your device is recognized by the new Microsoft account. And once that's done, then you can go back to this page and you'll see an install button somewhere up here. And once it's installed, that should fix your problem. Since I now have the HEVC codex installed, I'm going to go back to that same page where I saw only a generic icon for each image for the GoPro. And I'm going to refresh the page and see what happens. Okay, as you can see, it's now generating thumbnails, proper thumbnails with pictures within that video so you know what you are looking at. So yeah, and that's it. All you have to do is install that HEVC codex from Microsoft and then you can see all your thumbnails and also it will help your other applications that read the GoPro video files. For 99 cents, it's a good deal. The hassle of registering with Microsoft, yeah, <laughs> you just have to do what you have to do to get it to work and it only takes a few minutes. And thanks.